All right, well, it's nighttime, but welcome back to Planet Zoo. I have made a little bit of progress on my own, so I wouldn't bore you guys. So we now, I brought in some of my old animals from the old zoo. So now we have our bison herd, because they're simple and easy animals. This one's sleeping in the water. And of course, it's run by my beautiful, absolutely beautiful albino male buffalo. Look at him. Uh, vet research is complete. That's right. We have a diseased animal currently. My albino giraffe is currently diseased. But that's okay, because the vet is on the way. I'm gonna call the vet as well. Okay. Let's see what else does this say? Animal is it? It's not misassigned. It's right there. And this one, call keeper. Okay. Anyways, so... Let's turn our little light on. We have the bison, of course. Lovely bison pen. High amounts of litter. Yes, I know, you guys litter like crap. Uh, we have our zebras and giraffes. Look, I've got three little babies, and they're all hanging out together. Isn't that so cute? I don't know, they're so cute. Three little baby giraffes. Oh, that's a zebra. eating their foodies. Yes, so we have giraffes and zebras. So we have bison. I put some camels over here. And they have a baby as well. A little baby camel. Lovely. And then we have our swamp section. So we have our... Where are they? Well, there's one right there. A gharial. I have lots of baby gharials in here. And the adults are somewhere around, but of course it's dark. Oh, here he is. This is the uh, male... Gariel. Lovely. And of course they have a underwater viewing as well. And they have an above walkway viewing too. And then we have our saltwater crocodiles who are enjoying a blood pumpkin. Yes, I have an albino alligator though he's not very albino, is he? But he's, he's there. And they, I think they have a couple babies too. Oh no, she's offspring imminent. Oh, so she's about to have her babies. We're gonna, we don't want too many crocodiles, so we're gonna put him on contraceptives. Where is your babies? Oh, you're pooping. That's, that, let's look away. Where's the babies, though? Offspring are imminent. And then, of course, our third brand new animal of the aquatic DLC is the dwarf caiman. As soon as I find one. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. These guys are so cute. Look at them. They look like babies, but they're not babies. This is a full-grown male. Look at him. He's the cutest little thing ever. And then the female is right here. Oh, they're so adorable. I love those eyes. Let's take a closer look. Uh, it's so sensitive in this game. The, the Ansel in this game is incredibly sensitive. I want to look at one with a pretty background. Where's the other one at? Where was he? There he is. Hiding in the water now, are you? But it's so dark, I can't see anything. Maybe she is our best bet. Alright, let's increase the depth of field to hide that ugly fence. Let's zoom in real quick. Boop. Oh, look at her little face. I love those eyes, though. Look at those eyes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, maybe we're zoomed in a little far. Oh, there's the pretty face. We're going to take a picture. Snap. But yeah, so we now have dwarf canines has had offspring. Okay, we now also have baby saltwater crocodiles. Hooray! Aw, aren't they adorable. I like crocodiles, and I like alligators. You can tell that they're even slightly different colors. He's a little yellow, and this one's a little paler. But yeah, so we now have crocodiles, we have gharials, we have the dwarf caimans, some bison, zebra, giraffe, and uh, camels. And apparently we need to uh, hire a couple more... No. Couple more caretakers to take care of trash. 
We probably need to put up some more trash cans because people like to throw junk away and not, or don't like to throw things away if it's too far because they're lazy. I would rather just litter my beautiful zoo. Here, look, trash, 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 perfect. Now stop throwing crap away. But I did a little bit of decorating. Uh, like, for the camels and whatnot, I have this nice little desert walk. Isn't that beautiful? With this little random thing here. Yeah, we have the desert walk. We put some desert stuff here. We have these talks, which I'm... Which, supposedly, they can, like, do talks and throw food. But I've not seen them actually doing it yet. And these ones have trouble because if the crocodile's too far away, it doesn't... It says, oh, they're too far away. Wow, they could just walk right off into there, can't they? Alright, uh... Good, okay, I deleted that spot. Yeah. Wow, it's really crowded right here. Yeah, like misassigned species. Oh no, it's not the saltwater crocodile, but it is. But it's because they're so far away that it's like, oh, we don't count it. And we also have this nice little jungle walkway to lead to the gators. And a little, little gator statue. So yeah, well, we have baby seals. Which you can see we've got three of them right here. Adorable. Oh, look at him rolling over. So cute. And then we have all the little babies. And we also have baby penguins. Like right here, baby, baby penguins. I know we didn't get a good look at them in the last video, so look at the baby, little waddle. Burr, 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 burr. Nice. Oh, you're so cute. Look at the little baby. Oh gosh, it's so sensitive. Let's see. Zoom in. Not really a good picture. I was hoping it would be. Damn. I want a nice picture. What's the baby doing? The baby's like, give me food. Give me food. Beggy, beggy, beg. Give me food. Maybe this will be a better picture. Dang it. Why is this so... I've tried to fix it, by the way. And it's really... It, 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 they, I could not find a fix. We'll take the picture. Why not? It's a picture. Doesn't help that it's raining, of course. It's another baby. Ooh, hi, penguin. Kind of like saying, hey, welcome to my house. With the house in the background. I think we need to wait for it to stop raining, though. We can't really get any good pictures while it's raining. Yeah. And I did put out, like, little fake icebergs here that they can sit on. So that's cool. Or at least I think it is. And of course I have a little entryway here now, make it all pretty. And a polar bear right there, do his best Simba impression. And of course I give the seals some rocks as well. Oh hi, look at you guys all swimming out here having fun. Look at that, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool look? They could just sit there and look and see the sea lions swimming. Actually, those are actually shadows, but you know what I mean. It's still cool. I think it's cool, at least. I would love to be to a zoo like that. Let's see. Research complete. My researchers are going so fast. We're almost done with penguins. Now, though, the only things I don't have gold fully researched are the new stuff. All my old animals are completely researched, so I don't have to worry about that. What is this about? I need a quarantine. Eh. I'll add one later. We're doing okay money-wise. So I'm thinking we're going to add the otters, which is the fourth animal today. The fourth DLC animal. So we're going to let it play. We are going to start an otter habitat. Ooh, actually, let's, let's try something. Alright, where's the giant otter? I want to see something. Giant otter. 
Do -do -do. South America, 360. So they don't need a big exhibit. But are they friendly? Are they? How do I know? Can guest enter habitat? No. Dang, I was going to do a walkthrough. Wouldn't that have been cool? We have a gift. That's okay. All right. They cannot enter the habitat, but we will do a cool little overwalk, I think. We're going to do some water over here. We're going to do some water over here. And then... I'm going to just do a little bit more water. Make a nice little semicircle, I think. Put a little deeper in the middle. Now, I know there's a lot of cool exhibits out there that people have done, but a lot of them do it on sandbox, and I play in franchise, so I can't be as crazy design-wise as people who play in sandbox, because, of course, they don't have to worry about money. But I do. Right, so we're going to make a cool otter exhibit. How does that water look? Yeah, I, I think it could have a little bit more shallows. Let's let's have a little bit more shallows. That's right, I'm narrating this time as we build. I don't want it to be too deep. I mean, they're otters, they're not seals. I'll do some shallow up here. Alright, let's see how that looks. Alright, that way they have a lot more shallows and then a deep channel. I think that looks good. Okay, now we're going to do some hills, because why not? We don't want any too big hills, because they're not like climbing animals, but just some hills. Alright, we need to build a fence, and I don't like perfectly square exhibits. I don't. I like, I like, obviously I like more curvy exhibits. I don't know, I feel like the, the perfectly straight ones are just a little too perfect for me. I like them to be a little bit more natural looking. A bit more, oh, you know, we fit them in where we could. I don't know. The perfectly laid out square exhibits are not really my thing. Alright. Put it right over here under the weeping willow. I don't know, it looks messy right now, but once I have a full zoo, it'll look fine. Right, we're gonna... I'm gonna have it follow the path a little bit. I like to build them a little extra big, because then you have room for like them to have babies, and if there's the exhibit's too small, when they have babies, they get upset, because they're too crowded. There. Perfect. Alright, people aren't gonna be able to see them underwater, though. That's kind of sad. You know what, let's, let's fix that. Alright, terrain. Alright, we're gonna pause it real quick. Alright, so let's see. We are going to build an underwater viewing. Which means we need it to be underwater. We need room for the road to be. This will be the deepest part, I think. We'll do a nice deep, a nice deep channel right here. This is where we put the fish feeder thing that they have. a little bit. Alright, let's try to put in a path. What path should we use? We should use something special for the otters. Water path? No, that looks weird. Nah, we'll just use the same path we always do. Why not? Perfect. It's not much of a viewing area, but it'll... No, I didn't want to do that. It's not much of a viewing area, but it'll work. 
I mean, they're otters. You don't, they're not like seals. You're not going to sit there staring at them all the time. Maybe I'm just weird, but... Alright. All right. It's right there. There. Ta-da! Oh, it's backwards. Edit barrier. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we need to raise the height. Otherwise, the whoop. This one's a little high. Lower. This one needs to go up a little. All right, let's try the water now. What? Oh, that's not really good. Oh gosh, that's too much water. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, I can't do much because the fence is there. Okay, let's try again. Eh, whatever. It's good enough. I mean, they could still. They can still see it. They can still see. That's fine. It's fine. Alright. Pretty sure they're not gonna like that much grass. I mean, that much dirt. So we're gonna put in some grass. If they're from South America, they probably like grass. We'll put in some sand. Once I have a ton of money, I'll probably redo some of my exhibits. I'm glad you guys seem to be enjoying this, though. I like these games. I like playing these. All right. There we go. Seems good. They're gonna need a house. We're gonna sort it by... Oh, I can't do giant otter. Well, I can. I just haven't unlocked anything. Giant otter. What do they like? Let's see. Can give them a performing platform. That's fun. Ooh, they want cardboard boxes? Sure, I can do that. Give them a ball. Give them a rubber ducky. A bubble machine? That seems like fun. What kind of uh, food trays? Underwater feeder. Let's see if this is deep enough. It might not be deep enough. Feeder not deep. Okay. That's okay. They don't need one. Oh, we could give them a pirate ship. That seems like fun. We're going to give them one of these. Perfect. I can make them a little little bridge pier. I'm gonna do it right here. There. They have a little bridge that they can swim underneath. What else can we do? Sprinklers? Why not? Okay. I think that's good. So now what we're gonna do is... Okay, yes, I know. Research complete. Hooray. We're about to add penguins, and they can do penguins. Alright, work zones. Uh, we're going to add it to the aquatic work zone. Perfect. Alright. I don't like this right here. So we're going to move it out. We're going to move this one as well. There, I like that better. Okay, now we will get our otters. That is not ours. Alright, where's our otters? There they are. I want to select both otters. I want to move them right there. Alright, so. And then we'll f we, ha we have to wait for them to be in the. I, d I don't know what plants they like, so I'm going to wait and see what they want. 
need to add some trees right here. It looks very plain. Let's see, we know he's South America. So we're gonna say South America. Um, I'm gonna just add some plants to spruce this place up a little. Nothing fancy, just, just a little bit. Um, maybe some palm trees. Couple holly trees, why not? Just make the prey place a little ooh, those are good. Make the place just a little nicer. Just a little prettier. That's a big plant. Just fill it up with those. Those take up a lot of room. There. Need some more trees. Monkey puzzle tree. Those are really tiny trees. I want bigger trees. Yeah, like those. Perfect. Alright, let's look at our otters. Where are they? There he is! Look at him, he's so cute! Alright, hold up. Pause. What do you not like? Not happy with the depth? You should be. There's plenty of depth there. Look, you can swim down. You can totally swim down. Why do you hate the depth? Alright, hold on. Let's see what he does like about terrain. Grass. He wants long grass. Too much rock, not enough sand, not enough or not enough long grass. Okay. Let me just put rock all over the bottom. Actually, hold on. We're gonna have to move him anyways. Move back to the beginning. Because we're gonna have to make the water deeper, apparently. So we're going to make it sand, because apparently they like sand, and we're going to increase the depth. This thing is so finicky. I, have no, I wish there was a way to tell how deep something was without having to check the animal afterwards. It, so like when I'm building it, it'd be nice to be able to be like, oh, you made this this deep. But it's okay. It's okay. Deeper. All right, how do you guys... Oh, wait, I need to actually put water in for them to decide how much they like it. Okay, how do you like that? It's not... It's, it's so much deeper than that, I swear. It can't be that shallow. All right, you guys want grass... Or, uh, you guys are finicky. Jeez. I'm gonna get grass long. Grass long. Do, 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 do. I like a lot of long grass, apparently. Okay, so there's still too much rock. There's not enough sand. And apparently... Right, we need to just... And it's still not deep enough. Jeez. Get out of the water, guys. I can't I can't do anything with the water with you in it. Move. Back. You. You too. Get out of the water. Move. Back. No, don't run to the water. Don't run to the water, you stinking otter. You you're probably too close. Go back. Yeah, they are very unhappy with the depth. They need 90... 90 depth and 90 meters? That's a really deep. What are they, sea otters? All right, we're going to make it sand again. All right. We're going to just make it deep, 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 all the way around. Deep, 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 deep water. Maybe have some underhangs, little underwater caves almost. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? That way we don't lose any land area, but we still have water area. 
Yeah, that sounds fun. We're gonna do that. All right. We need to switch to. I don't know. What we're just gonna get it right. Then we'll get their terrain needs set. All right. Let's work on our little underwater maze here. They're gonna have a little labyrinth underwater. Why? Because whatever. You know what? It's okay. As long as it's paused, I can delete the fence. I'm gonna delete the little path too. Cause it needs to be a lot deeper. And it'll bother me if the road, the path and the fence are so much higher than the bottom of the water. Like, being a little higher is fine, but being that low, not as much fun. Sorry, I'm probably boring you guys by doing this, aren't I? Probably should just have sped up through this, but... Anyways. Maybe I'll just speed up through the rest of it. I don't know. Maybe you like listening to me, to me babble to myself. Alright, we're making underwater labyrinth. making a lot of money. This is getting expensive. Is that deep enough for you little boogers? Should I make them a little little cave underwater? Let's make them a cave. Let's see, where's my path at? There's my path. up the intensity a little bit so it's easier to dig. I don't want it to be too thin because then they can't swim through it. I'm assuming. Do, do, do. Dig, dig, dig. Diggy, diggy, dig. Diggy, diggy hole. Alright, where's our other one over here? Okay. We could probably make it a tad larger. Oh yeah, that digs so much faster. Excavating a tunnel. Alright, where's... Oof. Stop it! Stop it! My camera got confused. Right. We dig this direction. There it is! We have our tunnel. We have a nice... Ugh! I, I want to be under the ground, not above the ground. It's okay. Look at our beautiful tunnel. Amazing. You know, it'd be cool. Let, hold on, let's just let's just deepen all of this. Let me do something here. Like I said, I'm probably boring you guys. I am so sorry. This episode is all about otters. Okay. Let's build our road real quick. Just so I know how much room I have. Okay, I can't do that. No, I don't want you there. No. Dang it, come on. Work with me, work with me. Have a path. You know what? Actually, hold on. Ah, oh, okay, I guess that works. How much water? Still don't. No, I need it deeper than that. They still can't see inside then. Alright, 
So hold on, I need to usher that back a little. Okay, now let's see. Okay, perfect, all right. Now they should be able to see. So let's put our barrier back. I probably really should have just fast forwarded through this, but whatever. A little high, but whatever. It's too high right here, though. Lower that down a little. All right, let's try some water. Let's see how it, how they like it now. Ah, oh, yeah! Look at that. All right, you stinking otters. Do you like it now? Ah, oh, they're finally happy. Jeez, all right, there's not, still too much rock. Where's all the rock? Right, what do they like? They like, sit, there's too much rock. I need more sand. I don't know why the water turns to rock, but it does. I'm just gonna bump the size up. Look, it's all sand now. Be happy, otters. Be happy, it's all sand. I think this is where all the rock is, isn't it? It's all under here. For some reason, when I filled it up with water, it turned it all to rock. Oh, we're so close to using it all up. All right. Yes, we'll give you sand back. We'll give you rock, uh, sand back in a moment, okay? Okay, there's still too much rock. Where is all the rock? We need some more short grass. We need more long grass. Perfect, okay. Now, let's see. They do not like the weeping willow. They are South Central America. They like grassland and tropical and aquatic. So let's see. Trop nope, temperate tropical, grassland, aquatic. Hmm. What options do we have here? Oh, we're gonna give them all these water plants. Hello, flowers. All right, I'll probably just fast forward from here as I beautify it. And then we'll take a good close look at the otters.
Okay, we have finished our intensive building. I hopefully wasn't too bad. We're just gonna bump the price up to 35 buckaroos. Alright, so we have a little otter. We're gonna take a quick look because we haven't really looked at them yet. So we're gonna take a quick peek peek at them. This one looks angry. It's very angry. Are you angry, Mr. Otter? Or Mrs. Otter? I don't actually know which one you are. Why do you look so angry? Oh, I will take a picture anyway. Snap. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other otter? You're the angry. Wait, where are you at? Oh, you're right there. Hi, you're swimming. Oh, this one doesn't look angry. This one looks happy. Oh. Do, 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 do. It's so hard to get a good angle because this thing is so sensitive. Do that face. I wish it wasn't so sensitive. I've tried to fix it. There, I, I, I cannot figure out what to do to fix it. All right, so one of these has really low welfare, but I'm hoping that after all the changes I made, it will no longer have low welfare. All right, so we're gonna hopefully. Which one are you? All right, so you're the swimming one. Your welfare shouldn't be low anymore because I gave you everything you could possibly want. Temperature, you are too cold. Oh! Oh, I didn't even think about that. We have our water regulator right here. Where's your range? Oh, ooh, not good. Okay, we need to move it. We want it to get these two. I'm pointing at my screen, you can't tell. We're gonna hide it right here. All right, range. Okay, we might might need to move it right there. And then we need to make a path going to it. We'll just hide it back here where nobody can see it. No, come on, you can you can't go that far. Okay. Alright, so you're gonna okay. So hopefully that doesn't detract from the guests. Okay, cool. That doesn't detract from the guests. There's so much trash. Would you guys stop littering? Drop. No, not a keeper. A caretaker. Though we probably need another keeper anyway. So, okay. I'm going to set you to swamp, you to hoofed, and then you two are going to be in aquatic. I guess I need trash cans over here too, probably. Ugh. There's people in their trash cans. We'll do the white one, why not? Look, trash cans. You can stop littering now, please. Uneven placement. Uneven placement. Uneven placement. You guys wonder why I have no trash cans. There. Let's do some over here with our otters. Uneven placement. Uneven placement. We are going to need some instructional stuff. Do we want to be in that mode? Right, you are going to be a giant otter. You are going to be a giant otter. Let's see, we need a feeding point. Edit barrier. went back to wood as well. Ooh, can they jump out if it's that low? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Alright, we're gonna put a education thing. Except it doesn't work because of uneven barrier. Okay. 
giant otter. Water obstructs food throwing. Okay. I can't put it over here. Dang. Um. Um. I'm not sure. Well, they can still, they can still do the, uh, let's just pick a random one. Uh, South America. We'll do that one. But yeah, they'll, they'll still be able to give the educational talk. They just won't be able to throw them food. And I would like them to throw food, but this episode's getting a bit long and probably boring. So, oh well. All right. Hopefully our otters are no longer angry. All right, they live in South America, so they probably want heaters. Heater there. Heater there. Put a heater there. And they probably are not gonna like the snow, so we'll put a heater there. It's too far away. No, it's not. The gator is right there. How is it too far away when the gator is right there? Oh well, whatever. Alright. I think we have more baby seals now, more baby penguins. So many babies. Oh wait, are you gonna throw up and are you gonna give them food? Oh they are. Blah blah blah. Animation is a little offset, but you know what, that's okay. All right, where's our otters? I'm feeling better now, otters. I think they are. I think they are feeling better. Yay, happy otters, which means happy us. Ah, uh, he's being so cute. Ah, swim. Now he's smiling and happy. All right, well, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode devoted entirely to making a beautiful otter habitat. <gasps> Look at the bubbles. I hope they play with the bubbles, don't you? Because I sure do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in the meantime, thank you again for enjoying Planet Zoo and asking for more. I'm quite happy. Oh, I hope they use their tunnels. Man, I'm swimming. Oh, he's upside down. He looks like he's having so much fun. this is going to be a good picture or not, but won't know until we try, right? Aw, he's so cute. Let's mess with the brightness contrast a little bit. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I gotta take pictures. Um, maybe it's the gamma I'm looking for. Oh, too much gamma. Too much gamma. I'd make a nice little thumbnail, wouldn't it? Happy little otter playing. Right from this angle, too. I like to take thumbnails from the video, you know what I mean? Alright, we'll take two video, two pictures. That one and that one. I'm sure one of them will make a good thumbnail. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Thank you for enjoying Planet Zoo. Because I sure do like playing. Whoa, that was really tall. There. Yes, thank you again. And enjoy. Next time we'll try to expand the zoo a bit more.